Apple just dropped its biggest MacBook Air yet. Say hello to the new 15-inch M2 MacBook Air that was announced at WWDC 2023. It's worth noting that this new MacBook Air is the world's thinnest 15-inch laptop at 11.5 millimeters. Now, you may be wondering how this laptop compares to the other M2 MacBook Air in Apple's lineup, the 13-inch model announced at WWDC 2022, or perhaps how it differs from the MacBook Pros available at Apple right now. Let's break it all down so that hopefully those of you eyeing a new MacBook can get a better understanding of which one's right for you. And remember that the on-paper specs can only tell us so much, so be sure to subscribe to CNET to see our full review of the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air in the coming weeks. Let's start by comparing the new 15-inch M2 MacBook Air to the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air unveiled in 2022. I gave away the most obvious difference between these two devices in that last sentence, size. Now, technically, the new MacBook Air display measures 15.3 inches, while the 2022 MacBook Air display measures 13.6 inches. The new MacBook Air is also slightly heavier than the 2022 model, 3.3 pounds versus 2.7. That bigger size also carries a higher price tag. The 15-inch M2 MacBook Air starts at $1,300, while the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air starts at $1,100. There are also some differences between the speakers in these two laptops. The new MacBook Air has six speakers with force-canceling woofers for more immersive spatial audio. Last year's MacBook Air has four speakers and doesn't have those force-canceling woofers. But otherwise, the specs of these two devices are pretty much the same. Both laptops feature Apple's M2 chip and offer up to 24 gigabytes of memory and up to two terabytes of storage. Both displays have a max brightness of 500 nits and a 1080p webcam. Both devices offer 18 hours of battery life according to Apple. You get the idea. And the 13-inch M1 MacBook Air remains in Apple's lineup and starts at $1,000, so it's the most affordable MacBook Air of the bunch. Next, let's chat a little bit about how this new MacBook Air compares to the MacBook Pros in Apple's current lineup. First, there's the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro that was unveiled at WWDC 2022. While this 2022 MacBook Pro is smaller than the latest MacBook Air, there is a lot of overlap between the specs of these two devices. They both have the M2 chip and offer up to 24 gigabytes of memory and up to two terabytes of storage. They both start at $1,300, and the new MacBook Air actually has a better camera than the 2022 MacBook Pro. The Air has that 1080p webcam, while the Pro has a 720p webcam. But that MacBook Pro does offer up to 20 hours of battery life, according to Apple, while the company says that the new MacBook Air only offers 18. And if you're a fan of the nearly extinct touch bar, the 2022 MacBook Pros still got it. Now, whether you want the new MacBook Air or the 2022 MacBook Pro will come down to personal preference. Do you want that larger screen? Are claims of slightly greater battery life important to you? And how much do you love that touch bar? Finally, there are the latest 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros that Apple announced in January 2023. The differences between these laptops and the new MacBook Air are more pronounced. For starters, they feature Apple's more powerful M2 Pro and M2 Max chips, as opposed to the M2 chip. They also offer up to 96 gigabytes of memory and up to eight terabytes of storage. And with that 14 inch model starting at $2,000 and the 16 inch model starting at $2,500, they are significantly more expensive than that new MacBook Air. I currently have a 16-inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro, and while I love how fast it is for video editing on Adobe Premiere, I will say it's a little big for carrying around on the daily or using in public. My personal favorite MacBook Pro display size was 15 inches. That's how big the last model I had was, and I liked that one because it was big enough to watch a movie, but small enough to not feel cumbersome when using it at Starbucks or on the bus. So in my opinion, the new MacBook Air really offers that perfect in-between option in terms of size, and I think it makes the decision between a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air a little tougher. The new MacBook Air is available for pre-order now and is expected to start shipping next week. And again, these on-paper specs don't tell the whole story, so I'd recommend waiting for our review of the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air before making any final buying decisions. Subscribe to CNET so you don't miss that video, and thank you so much for watching.